Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install the Windows 11 latest version which is the 22,051 and it is the very first insider preview of the Windows 11. So, the very first thing is that we have to download the required files in your computer and install them also. So, you have to go ahead virtualbox.org and then go to the download section and click on the download and from here you have to download related to your host whether you are using, using linux mac os or whatever version that you are using so you can see i'm using windows so basically i'm going to use the windows host and i'm also not going to download it because i have already downloaded it and i have also installed it in the computer okay the second thing is you need the windows 11 iso uh, latest version so as you can see here uh, it is the Windows 11 latest version and it is also the current version that, that I installed inside my computer. So if I have to open settings, this way you can understand that this is the new version of the Windows 11 that is released yesterday. So to install it inside the VM, uh, VirtualBox, uh, you need to download the ISO. So visit interzoom.com is the site and then uh, you can open this post which is written download uh, windows 11 iso image legally for free okay inside this post uh, uh this guy okay i have introduced basically the way that you can download the windows 11 legally from microsoft's official site here are the method you can read it and there's also the another method which is uh, basically you may call it an illegal and this is a site called uupdump.net you can visit and here you can see that every method is explained one after another in full detail okay now there is finally if you are thinking that you can't you can't use any of them uh, you may use these three download links but i'm going to say that these links are not stable and soon enough they will be removed from this site so simply you have to click part one and then part two and then part three it is basically three parts and you can download them inside your computer so where is the third part yeah 2 gb 2 gb and this one is uh, one point i think 43 gb yep you have to download them and put them inside one folder right click and then extract them inside your computer so i don't need to download them because i have already downloaded it and you can see that it is available i have also extracted it here to get started with the installation just install the virtual box i know you can install it that is not a very hard thing to do and then the second thing is just go ahead launch the virtual box so i'm going to launch uh for as for virtual box and i'm going to launch it so you can see that it is already installed in my computer and then to create a new virtual machine just choose new uh by default it will be like this you can choose expert mode and then type the name of the windows that you are interested with i'm going to type 10 okay 10 will be fine doesn't matter because it's windows 11 uh okay after that one increase the amount of frame to 406 which will be uh 4 gb of frame 4096 i think yep that's 4 gb of frame and then create get a vdi with the dynamically allocated settings basically dynamically is a very good uh, option because the amount of storage that you are mentioning here uh, it will be stored over time it will not store that much amount of storage at once if you choose fixed size suppose you are choosing 50 gb exactly at that time it is going to store 50 gb of storage inside your computer so that is not a very good option so I'm going to choose this one and with an amount of storage of 200 GB. I'm also going to save it in the desktop. So this way um, it will be better if I want to move it. So desktop. Yeah. Where is that? Yeah. Save it there. Okay. Now click create and boom. Just go ahead and start the virtual machine
okay from here click on the icon go ahead and locate the windows 11 iso that's all then you can install the windows 11 without any issue so here is the iso okay and choose and start and you can also close that one okay basically these are the actual this is the new logo of the windows 11 that you can see uh actually that that is okay if you want to get out of the uh, virtual machine just press control the right control the control which is located in the right side of the uh keyboard after that one you have to choose your language uh install now <clears throat> so i'm going to close that one and let me have to minimize it i do not need that one how about this one i'm going to enable the scale mode this way is better yep this is finally a, a lot better or maybe i have to make it full screen or no <laughs> the shape of the view is awful okay uh, now you can see that uh, inside is uh, oh, there is a lot of windows and Apple. man you cannot believe it okay home home and pro pro and single wow that is a lot okay i'm going to choose pro next except with the terms and the license and then click next uh, choose custom installation and here you have to create a new uh, drive i'm not going to do that to do that simply i'm going to click next and it is going to install the windows 11 inside the virtual box it is going to take some time so i will pause the video here once this screen is done i'll be back with you guys okay now it is restarting the os just click restart now and it's going to restart and set up some device and other stuff it is going to take some time okay do not press anything while this is happening the very first time the second time now the, the first time you can press the second time you cannot so here it is going to be stuck in this window for a while after that one it is done i will be back with you so again i'm going to pause the video it's going to take some time to install the windows 11 inside the uh, virtual box okay now it just restarted again and now let's uh okay i think this time we are going to set up the keyboard and the other stuff so we'll have to wait okay here is the new windows 11 logo again yep uh, here we are in the windows that we are going to set up the actually the new startup settings of whatever okay choose your country uh, okay just skip this section i think that was trying to connect to the internet okay go ahead type a name for your computer so i'm going to type my own name that's all okay choose uh, the purpose of using this for personal usage okay sign in options just uh, you may use an offline account okay again i'm saying that limited experience just 
don't worry about it just click limited experience uh, don't sign in with the Microsoft account okay type your name okay how about Okay, it is about the privacy. I'm just going to turn all them off. I basically do not like any of that. Click accept. And I think this is the final step that is going to set up the windows for us. Okay, just hold on. Okay, now you can see that it is the new Windows. Link version was very fast inside the virtual machine, but this is not very fast. It is very, very slow. Just like the macOS that I'm using inside the virtual machine. So, okay, it do not even need to be activated. Man, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Or no, or yes, no. It do not to be activated. It does not need to be activated. So, let's make it full screen. Okay. You can see that there's also the issue of the full screen. You cannot fix the full screen version. Okay, let's just go ahead to the view. Uh, okay, now everything is disabled here. We need to enable them. To enable it, just go ahead to the uh, devices. Uh, where was the optical drives? Nope, that was not choose insert guest additional CD or DVD then uh, open it now install the this one okay no no not that one this one yes Click next, 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 and it's going to install and it will also install itself. It will take some time. Well, now you can see that the thing is installed, but let's just go ahead to view. No, it's not still fixed. So reboot the system right now and the issue should be fixed without any problem okay it is still not still not fixed okay, now you can see that there is a new font everything is kind of a bit better compared to the older version or basically the uh, Windows 10 this should be fixed but I don't know why it is not fixing itself display settings Okay, it is definitely not fixed. I don't know why, but it should be able to fix the issue. 
up again let's just go ahead view screen yeah now you can see that the issue is fixed i can make it fully screen mode yeah now it is working like a like a wait again it is not working okay So this is the new Windows 11, basically the first insider preview and here's also the Microsoft store, the new store which has created a lot of fuss around that it is able to download the new, uh, sorry, the Android apps uh, inside the computer. Okay, I think my network connection is really weak. I don't know why, but it is not really responsive today. So this is how you can simply install the Windows 11 inside the, uh, yeah, I told you, uh, inside the virtual machine. So I hope you like this video. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And until next time, have a nice time and goodbye.